at clinicals now it is Tuesday and I have so much to share I am documenting what I am doing each day for y'all and for myself because I do want to be able to write down everything on my documenting and on my resume when I do my resumes I gotta go in though because I literally need to hurry up. I'm like three minutes before clocking in here. And I have clinical finals next Tuesday. No, next Monday. I don't know if she's, I think she's gonna come on Monday. Yeah, next Monday I have clinical finals. So I have to ask my classmate what he had to do. I have my beautiful little St. Patty's cup. This is the RT department where the RT students sit and wait until they are called to do something. So this here is where we have all of the respiratory equipment such as ventilators, BiPAPs, high flows, CPAPs. This is where the RT students hang out, an extra little room. Hey guys, so the lighting's kind of bad in here, but um, I am here at clinicals and I have done a lot today. Um, I took down a vent, put it back together with the new pieces. I did some charting. I did a nebulizer treatment, patient assessment. Yesterday, I actually did a whole lot more. I got to do three AVGs on three separate, separate patients, but actually four AVGs because I did two AVGs on one patient because it was hard to get. But the RT let me do it twice and she helped me the second time and I got it. <laughs> And we had three codes that we went to yesterday. Um, there was a code blue today, but I didn't go because I stayed with my RT and some other RTs went. So they said we didn't have to go because there's just too many nurses and all that in the emergency room. It is currently 4 We got to go to the NICU yesterday and we got to see a little baby boy and 
we got to take down a CPAP and put it back together. So that was fun. I think that's it. I just love how they have these body lotions and body spray all in the bathroom. So nice. So at the end of my shift, I like to put in all of my procedure counts, do my weekly journal, and my doctor interaction. So that's what you see me doing here. And I also like to document all of the things that I have done on that shift. And that is the end of my shift. So I will be leaving and heading home. So by the time I get out, it is 10.30 p.m. and I don't get home till about 11.30 p.m. So now it is the next day and I will be doing a chest physiotherapy vest. As you can see, it vibrates and you can change the hertz on the machine and different you see behind your video. pressures or vibrations <laughs> can make it shake even more and help the mucus come up so eventually the patient can cough it up. So this here is the Metaneb. The Metaneb is used by respiratory therapists to assist with airway clearance and lung expansion, providing simultaneous combination of positive pressure, continuous high frequency oscillations, and aerosol delivery can be used as well. So you can put albuterol in here, give a treatment, and oscillate the lungs, open up the lungs to... Uh, remove secretions, move up the secretions so eventually the patient can cough them up and this can be used in pediatrics and adult patients. So this here is the continuous mode and I'm securing the nebulizer making sure the lid is on properly. This here is me doing CPT on a baby. CPT helps break up excess mucus in babies with cystic fibrosis. And I'm just asking to see if I'm doing it correctly. Mm -hmm. This here is a respironic cough assist device. This cough assist is a mechanical insufflation exsufflation device designed to non-invasively clear secretions from the patient's lungs. The device reverses the flow of air by shifting negative pressure, which helps mobilize secretions out of airway as deep as a cough would naturally do. I was really scared to use this device because the pressure is so strong it literally feels so uncomfortable so i can just imagine for the patients this can be used on pediatric and adult patients as well
this is what the cough assist looks like and i definitely should have showed you all the buttons and everything now this is me doing cpt on a baby and generally you'll just go in circular motions and kind of push the secretions up from the bases of the lungs upward and this will help the baby cough and get the junk out now we are back in class and i am just getting situated getting my notebooks together my notes <clears throat> and all of my writing utensils yeah what are you doing just looking for all my information i need it i won second place in my class yay this is a bacterial and viral filter placed on ipv Unboxing. And I ordered some scrubs. These are Adar Edition Navy Blue for school. It's the top and the bottoms. Let's look inside. So the top looks like this, it has a little opening there, some short sleeves, and some pockets right here, and the pants look like this, they have little ties here, they say Adar on the back, they have back pockets, which is awesome. They have side pockets, which is awesome. And this one has a little zipper on the side. And they also are straight. So that's what they look like. <laughs> okay guys so this is the end of my video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye that's my outfit of the day